everybody welcome back to grandma jane's world today i'm gonna make handballs we're like it's out with the turkey and in with the handballs something different you know what i mean so i've got a great recipe that i can have a shout out to jody uh, um, not actually she was a year younger than me but we were in the golf team in high school and two leaders so i'm gonna read off this awesome recipe it's two and a half pound, uh, pounds of ground ham. Today I'm just using one, I'll tell you what I'm using today. Okay, one pound of ground ham, one pound of gro ground pork, two eggs beaten, two cups graham crackers, one cup milk, and you can use on onion chopped up if you want like. You blend all that, and then you put them in balls onto a cookie sheet, and you use two cans of tomato soup, undiluted, um, three-fourths cup vin of vinegar, two and a fourth cup brown sugar, two teaspoon dry mustard, and that'll make your sauce. You pour it over the meatballs and you bake them for one hour at 350. And they are fabulous. Okay, let's get to it down here. Here's my pound of ground pork and pound of ground ham, which remember I always use a fork and meatballs because um, they're tender. They're more tender that way. Okay, I'm going to use two cups of the graham crackers and two cups eggs beaten and a cup of milk. And that pretty much takes care of the mixture of meatballs sleeves pulled up here and then just go in there use your muscle I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving ours was real quiet but it was very nice and um, I did get my one Christmas tree up that I put in the dining room I was hoping to film the whole meal and film decorating and uh, my uploader still quarantined and I just said you know what next year so we'll get that Christmas cow painted and uh, we'll do other things that we missed out on this year, next year. That's the way I look at it. So keep moving forward as best as we can. Okay, okay I've got the meatballs formed in, on the cookie sheet and to the side here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is make the sauce to go on top. And that is two cans of tomato soup. And two cups of brown sugar. And let's see, some vinegar. So I put three fourths cup of vinegar. I'm going to stir that up good. These are just delicious. They melt in your mouth. The brown, or the graham crackers, I think it is. It's awesome. And the meatballs and then the, um, the sauce with the brown sugar in it. Oh, yum. So mix this up good so it's all dissolved. Got the oven on 350. I've got some baked potatoes in there. Thought we'd have those plus um, maybe I'll make up some coleslaw. Oh, that's a really good meal altogether. And especially, it's a beautiful day here in Northern Ireland. It's like 50 some degrees, no snow, calm, sunny. I mean, you just couldn't ask for anything better. And like I always say, one more day of fall and it is one less day of winter. Then I'm gonna drizzle this mixture all over these meatballs. I love the ham and pork combo. They're rich, but just really tender and tasty. Okay. Get those all coated really good. Then we just simmer in that sauce until they're cooked and done and delicious. 
Okay, that looks good to me. And we'll put them in the oven. Okay. For one hour. Just put the potatoes in there so everything should get done at the same time. Which is great. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with the results on those ham balls. And look at this. I've already divvied up some for the neighbors, and here's what's left. And then I'm going to scoop one more out onto my plate, and I'll show you what. There's a good supper. It's a baked potato coleslaw and ham balls. I hope you try it, and I hope you like it. Lots of love from me to you. Bye.